Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you first bring out the Tables and Borders toolbar, the Draw Table button is activated by default. Notice when we put our mouse pointer over the document, we see a small pencil icon. To draw the actual table, place it on the page and click and drag to draw your first table cell. Usually the first table cell is the one that will be the outer border of the actual table. When you release your mouse button, you'll have drawn the first cell. You can then continue to click and drag from side to side within that cell to split it even more. Now as you're clicking and dragging, if you accidentally draw a line that you do not want, you can erase mistakes by clicking the Eraser button on the Tables and Borders toolbar. Click this button to enable the eraser, and then place your mouse pointer over the page. Notice that it looks like an eraser at this point. Click and drag over the line you wish to remove from the table to erase them. Notice that you can also use the Line Style button to select the style of line that your pencil will draw with the Draw Table button. So if we wanted a fancier border, we could select one from this list. You can use the Line Weight drop-down to select the width of the line that you'll draw with your Draw Table button. You can use the border color drop down to select what color the border that you draw will appear as. Once you've done that, just make sure Draw Tables is selected and you can click and drag over the lines to apply the selected border. You can even click and drag over lines you've already drawn to format them the way that you would like to. Also note, you can use the border button to apply a standard border to selected cells once you've created them. Now to select a cell, we're going to have to turn off the Draw Table button. So click the Draw Table button to turn that off first. Then you're able to click into the cells and do your regular cell selection. So you can select a cell, click the drop down on the Borders button, and select which border you would like to apply. Or you can use the drop down and choose the no border border to erase the line border. Also, you can click into any cell that you've drawn, and then click the Shading Color button to fill the cell with a selected color. Note that this button looks exactly the same as the Fill Color button. However, the Fill Color button 
if you actually click on it in the drawing toolbar, for example, won't work in a table cell. So even though they look the same, they're not. Make sure if you're going to fill in table cells, you use the shading color instead. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.